Hey guys, my name is Kalatea and I'm one of the co-operators here at Tinker's Toy and Hobby. If you've been on the channel for a while now, you'll know that my fiance Michael and I own a novelty vending route here in Oregon and we typically source our machines from candymachines.com. However, after hearing some great things about a supplier named Rainy over on Alibaba, we decided to give her cheaper Mega Mini claw machines a try. We placed an order back in October for three of them and now that they're finally here, we can show you guys what the delivery and unboxing process looks like. We'll also have a guest later in the video here to chat a little bit about what a poor experience with Rainy's claws looks looks like and how she addressed the issues. The crate showed up through a company called Freightline, not the typical FedEx or UPS that we usually deal with here in the States. The unloading was a three-man job between the driver, Michael, and my dad, though I imagine it could have been done easily with just two people if it wasn't on a precariously slanted driveway. Right off the bat, we noticed that the top piece of wood on the crate had started to lift, but otherwise the outside of the box appeared to be in good condition. Gotta admit, I got a little nervous when my dad pulled out the hammer to start getting the sides off of the crate, but things were opened unscathed. The delivery guy was absolutely invested when he heard what was inside of the box and he ended up sticking around to see for himself what was inside. The machines were wrapped in bubble wrap and after removing that we were happy to see that they were in good condition other than one prize shoot that we were able to reassemble at a later point in the video. We ended up using a hack we saw over on RoboVending's channel and left the side of the crate attached to the bottom when we opened it so we could use it as a ramp to roll the machines down. One person can definitely move these machines on their own but we weren't willing to take that risk with how long we had waited for them to show up. The Mega Mini Topper is stored in the bottom cabinet. Assembling the top was fairly easy. It attaches to the top of the machine with four screws and the wire plugs into a wire that is poking out of the top of the mini itself. We did find that the screw holes on the machine were slightly too small for the screws that they sent and a screwdriver wasn't cutting it so I tracked down my dad's drill and that got the job done. We also ran into an issue with the protective film on the joystick pad. It was installed under the edge of the play button and when we pulled it off we were having an issue with the plastic getting left behind. We ended up running a pair of sharp scissors around the edge of the button to cut the film and leave a clean edge. Along with some other extra as Rainy included five prize locker keys per machine, which is great if players at your locations have a bad habit of taking the key home by mistake and you find yourself needing extras. She also provided some replacement fiberglass panels, a prize chute, and extra coin wax in case any of those items need to be replaced down the road. We ended up getting a surprise vending delivery here in the video, so I made Michael grab the packages from the FedEx guy because it was raining and I'm not about that. Inside were some 2-inch fidget poppers and some ducks that we'll be adding to our claw mix, both of which we got from CandyMachines.com. One thing we appreciated about Rainy's machines that we haven't seen on the Super Minis from Candy Machines is the QR code on the inside door that takes you to a user manual in case you need it. At this point, we were pretty happy with how the machines had shown up, but we still had to see if they were working properly. Before we get into that, we'd like to have our good friend Steve come on to chat for a bit about his poor experience with the mini claw order he received. We're in the same state and both ordered three minis at the same time. They were packaged and delivered on the same boat, but he definitely had a very different experience than we did, so I'm going to pass the mic off to him so he can tell you a little bit about what that looked like for him. Hi, my name is Steve. Just a quick introduction about myself. I got into the claw machine business primarily because our family, my wife, uh, my nine-year-old daughter, and myself would never miss an opportunity to uh, play claw machines anytime we see one. And one day, about four months ago, my daughter, Emily, said, hey, dad, it would be fun to have a claw machine business. So four months later, we have five clouds in five locations. Three are super minis from Candy Machines and two are OGs from Krabby Claw. Now back in mid-October, I wanted to purchase three more minis. I spent a, a good amount of time researching and perusing the Discord, and I decided to purchase my next batch through Alibaba from a well-known seller uh, named Rainy. Now, the main reason is the cost per unit from Rainy ends up being significantly less than purchasing from any US sellers. Now, there are pros and cons for both. Now, my biggest concern was the claw machines from Alibaba were coming from China on a container vessel. So I was thinking, yikes, right? There could be several things that could go wrong. For example, what if the ship sinks on the way here? I've seen so many scary, you know, North Sea TikTok videos recently with the haunting background music. So I was definitely worried. Also, my fear was customs, right? Confiscating the minis. And of course, there could be potential damage during the shipment. But I decided to go for it. You know, you're looking at roughly about $700 per mini after shipping through Rainy compared to about $12.50 per machine from the US sellers. Now the savings are even greater the more minis you purchase. So that's something I had to keep in mind. Now the whole process went rather smoothly. 
Rainy is very prompt when it comes to communicating with you. She got back to me usually within the same day. She sent me updates on the order and also the shipping information. From the time of order to the shipment arrival, it was just about two months for me. The only thing that I uh, would say didn't go well was when I opened the crate. Two uh, of the minis prize locker glass were shattered. Also, two megas also had a gantry cast that the roller was cracked completely. And one of the megas door hinge broke off. So needless to say, I was a bit disappointed. But what was great about Rainy is when I messaged her about this, she was quick to let me know that the replacement parts were being delivered by air. So I was very happy about that. You know, I'm giving Rainy a definitely a solid five star for her service. Would I buy through her again? Absolutely yes. The Mega Minis are awesome. Now that said, I would still consider purchasing from Candy Machines because even though the price might be higher, the lead time from purchase to delivery is only about 10 days or sooner. If I need a mini claw quickly to fulfill a location, I would definitely go with Candy Machines. So that was my experience. Hope that helps. Big thanks to Steve for taking time to join us on the channel and talk a little bit about what his experience with Rainey's machines looked like. Definitely proceed with discretion if you choose to order overseas as things like this do happen and we never recommend ordering from overseas if you're going to be in a bind if something goes wrong. Now for the fun part, turning on the machines. Of course, there was the obligatory heart attack when they didn't turn on the first time but after switching outlets we were able to get them all up and running so there's nothing wrong in that department we've gotten a few questions about how much these machines were and how long the wait time was so for those of you who are wondering we placed the order on october 26th 2023 and received the machines on december 27th so just a day over two months the total for three machines with ocean freight shipping was two thousand three hundred and ten dollars overall we were really happy with our experience and two of these three machines are already at home in their new locations if you guys are interested we'll be showing you in an upcoming video how to install Niox readers on these Mega Minis and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more vending content.